Alright, what's up guys? My name is Zach, and today I will be talking about the trim levels offered on the first gen RX-7. So I wanted to make this video in case you guys are looking to buy a first gen RX-7 or just want to know more about them. If you've heard, you know, GSL, GSLC, all these different terms thrown around, I kind of clarify that just so you know what you're getting into. So let me back it up here for a second. The first gen RX-7 was made from 1978 to 1985, and I know people will debate that, that the SA from 78 to 80 is different than the FB. They're all the same. Some bumpers changed, the interior changed. People call the SA the true first gen from 79 to 80. When I say first gen, I mean 78 to 85. And when I say trim, I mean the different levels that were offered from the dealership. So, let's start off with the S model. The S model was actually the base model of the RX-7. It had no sunroof, no power windows, no power steering, no AC. It was the base of the base model RX-7 and it came with the 12A engine uh, which was carbureted. It also had cloth and drum brakes all around. The next step up was the GS model which had a sunroof. It still had drum brakes all around, still had cloth, but it was slightly nicer, you got slightly more amenities than you would with the S, and it was slightly higher priced. Overall, it was still a pretty base car, but you did get a few more options than the S model. Then, above the GS came the GSL, which is actually the version that I have, and unfortunately, as you can see, I'm in an empty garage, and looking at an empty driveway, my RX-7 isn't here. It's actually down in storage, but I do have a GSL. What came with the GSL was power windows, power mirrors, power steering, AC, you got the sunroof, limited slip differential in the back, disc brakes all around, but you still didn't have the 13B, which is the next tier up. You also got a leather option in the GSL, which is really nice in what I have, although people do say that the cloth seats kind of hold you in firmer uh, when you're taking corners, so if you're gonna race, you might want to stick with a cloth seat. The very top tier that was sold here in the US was the GSL SE. And that came with the 13B fuel injected that everyone wanted. It had a different work suspension, limited slip differential. You got all the options of the GSL, so the power windows, AC, all of that. It only came in manual. The bolt pattern on a GSL SE is slightly different than the rest of them. Instead of 4x110, it's 4x114.3, I think. Don't quote me on I'm, but the, it's definitely a slightly larger bolt pattern and a slightly more common bolt pattern, which is nice. And overall, the GSLC was the top of the line RX-7 that you could buy at the time, and that was only made from 84 to 85. While those are the main trims that were sold here in the U.S., there was an LS model that was sold in 1980. No, it doesn't stand for LS from the LS motors. It stands for Leather Sport. The car came all black with gold alloy wheels and a dark brown interior which was actually really special at the time but over time the color hasn't really aged well. As a matter of fact the first RX-7 I ever sat in and looked at to purchase was a leather sport and only 3,000 of them were made so if you're gonna buy an RX-7 to chop up and mess around with I wouldn't recommend doing it with a leather sport just because people will probably get pretty pissed at you but, you know, pick your poison. Another trim is the GXL, which I've heard about, and I looked it up, and I can't find any information on it other than it was sold in Canada. It came in a special silver color. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that, but I'll put it somewhere on the screen. It had red pinstripes and custom alloy wheels. Now, other than that, I can't find much information on it, although I have seen one, and it featured a back seat. So I'm not sure about the uh, about that trim level, but they exist somewhere out there. Another trim level is the GTX, which was only sold in Japan for three years, which was their top of the line trim. Although it didn't feature the 13B, it had a 12A turbo. So it actually came from the factory with a turbo. But then again, they didn't sell them here in the US. I did find one for sale that was imported. So if you find one, purchase it, Keep it in a glass box because you will not see another one here in the U.S. And lastly, this isn't really a trim, but it's something called the Targa 7. Uh, that was a factory option that you could get, which included a spoiler and a stainless steel band that went over the top of the car. It's really nothing that special. It's not that rare. Um, 
but I have seen quite a handful of first gen RX 7s have that option. So if the ad says Targa 7 RX 7, it just means it has a stainless steel band over the top and probably a spoiler from the factory. It's much like louvers. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was informative and I hope it answered some questions that you might have had. If you have any more questions, please leave them in the comment section down below. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to rate the video, comment on the video, and subscribe if you really liked it. Take care.